we're trialing the anterior approach or direct anterior approach, total hip replacement, uh, using the HANA traction table, uh, which we are uh, currently using in the hospital. And uh, what that allows us to do is to do a hip replacement through a different direction uh, into the hip. Uh, commonly, or most commonly in the past, we've used a posterior approach, which is in the back, or a lateral approach through the side of the leg into the hip. And uh, this approach allows us to do a safely, more minimally invasive approach through the front, called the direct anterior approach. So currently the major anterior approach hip centers in Canada are in London, Ontario and in Ottawa. Um, those are the only two places in the province currently doing this regularly with a HANA table, which we have here in Humber. Uh, so this is the first time it's been introduced in the GTA. What it means for the patient is that uh, the direct anterior approach was devised a number of years ago and is becoming more popular in the US and in certain centers in Canada. Um, and what it allows is for patients to recover a bit quicker. Because you're not cutting any tendons or muscles and you're just sort of splitting between the muscular layers as you approach the hip, there's less surgical dissection, less bleeding, less trauma to the body itself. So it's more minimally invasive in that way. And what that allows for is less pain and a bit more stability after surgery for that patient. Uh, and then when I came to, you know, they, they had mentioned that it was a new procedure. And uh, to my surprise, Dr. Rodriguez asked me to stand up. <laughs> which uh, I was maybe not expecting, but when I did that, I realized it sort of took a few steps. And, and uh, I guess it was later on that I realized that it was a new procedure. Uh, so very happy to have uh, gone through that. I was in the operating room yesterday morning at eight o'clock and, um, and I was out within three hours and I was, after, after lunch, I was awake in my room and I was with my husband and my sister, uh, Fred and Suzanne, and you know, we were chatting and I watched the Raptors last night. And actually when Dr. Rodriguez came at five o'clock yesterday afternoon, we actually went for a walk. I could stand with no problem and I, I walked. And this morning again, I, I walked uh, um, halfway to the physio room and then went up and down the stairs. So I'm very, I'm very happy. It succeeded all my expectations, and I had very high expectations. So minimally invasive procedures have been devised across the surgical board and spectrum over the years. And in terms of arthroplasty or hip and knee replacement surgery, that is definitely the trend. Um, in terms of minimally invasiveness in, in the hip, uh, the normal stay for a patient would normally be three to four days in the hospital. Uh, and with this procedure, we can get people out uh, within a day and sometimes actually the same day of their surgery. Last night, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. And I was just trying to be you know, sta you know, stationary in the bed. And my main thought was, I can't wait till I can start moving. And then when this morning the physio came and, and we walked around a little bit, Dr. Rodriguez came and walked around a little bit, um, that was really exciting. Just the last thing I want to do is be lying in a bed. Um, I was quite shocked when I was able to get up and, and walk you know, within the first couple hours after the surgery was done. So I would, uh, I, I think that any patient who has an opportunity uh, to come here for their hip surgery would be very lucky, very lucky indeed.